What's up everybody? My name is Zelkadon. This is another Smite Super Builds. I, uh, this video is going to be a little bit later than I anticipated on uh, because I went to take a nap and it lasts a little bit longer than I wanted to. So um, this will be later in the day, sadly enough. But it is still here and here is the build. So um, the showing up build is more of a hybrid-ish um, oriented but you can still do pretty good damage and you'll see what I'm talking about here soon so actives wise um, heavenly jelly is not too common of a active for some people some people don't know what it is it branches off sprint uh, what this does it uh, buffs your allies around you uh, their moves to be about 40 percent for six seconds and it also increases their uh, healing by 25 percent for the duration it also increases your healings so basically you pop this when you're like about to start a team fight or you're retreating um, so you pop it and then you can start healing and your heals will be for more actives for I mean second active sorry <laughs> second active salvation uh, this grants you and your allies a set amount of HP and mana and also gives you some uh, MP5 so it's pretty good uh, especially in um, in assault, I highly recommend this item for assault. It allows you for more sustain. Uh, pretty much whoever has the best heals and sustain will pretty much win assault. You can argue different ways, but typically that's how it goes. Now, if you are diff playing a different game mode, like maybe conquest, you may want our uh, providence to kind of put wards or uh, teleport to tower so you can back to your lane faster. So these actives still kind of vary on how you're playing, who you're playing against. Okay, so shoots magic. The reason why this overshoots the focus, uh, the shoots of focus is not really too necessary um, because her cooldowns aren't bad at all, especially her one. It's a very short cooldown, so you don't want to stack too much cooldown reduction because it gets kind of gets kind of silly. So I said we want more power, right? So shoots of magic will deliver that with the penetration right off the bat. Next, even more penetration, um, as you all know this is probably my favorite uh, mage item, is focus void sub because, like I said numerous amounts of times, mages don't have uh, magical defense scaling, so if you bought no magical defense items whatsoever and you're level 20, you will have exactly 30 magical defense, which if you fight any uh, mage with uh, magical penetration, you're that's pretty much like zero. So. Uh, this is why this is a great item. Also offering you great power and penetration, and it's not too um, expensive of an item. So with these two items together, we have a um, a lovely 40 magical penetration. Next we have Chronos Pendant, so we do need a little bit of cooldown. Also this delivers great um, MP5. So with this build so far, you, your sustain is really crazy and it's really nice. Um, at the same time, plus 60 magic power. That's quite a lot for this item. And the cooldown redu uh, cool reduction, uh, 25%. This allows you to spam your one more often uh, because it alone already has a very short cooldown. And on top of your 25% CDR, 3.7 cooldown on your one. And this does a fair bit of damage also, and it hits multiple enemies in the path, so you can clear your lanes faster, um, you can fight multiple targets, and do better in team fights. Uh, so in the end, uh, giving you more damage per second. You know, you have power items, we have penetration items, and that one cooldown reduction item, perfect for that. Um, R2 is still a little bit lengthy. Um, nine seconds is not too bad, not too good. Um, as you can see, the more points you put into this, the lower the cooldown on it. And if R3, 7.5, that's really good. That's adds more damage and heals and put a debuff on the target so uh, overall with this build her team fight presence is going to be really really nice to have on top of that our waxing moon I uh, kind of have my desk <laughs> waxing moon the cooldown reduction um, item so we went from 90 second cooldown to a 67.5 second cooldown that means we can uh, start initiate faster more often so we kind of start the fight before the enemy starts to fight so that's the right you kind of want to go um, it's not that easy to always counter a team fight if they start first uh, sometimes it is better for you guys to start the team fight first 
uh, if you guys are well coordinated, and this just wor really works good. Next, we have uh, Polynomicon. I feel like her basic attacks are pretty easy to land, and she's really fluid in her movement because of her passive. is similar to Raw's. Um, basically, you get a short movement speed buff every time, uh, a few seconds after you use your ability. So you have, I think, three dances, right? Three dances, you're one through three. And um, so that kind of allows you to have a little bit more opportunity to have uh, a window opening when you're doing your basic attacks. So with Pyonomicon, um, it's been nerfed numerous times, but it's still really powerful. Uh, so after using up ability, in the next five seconds, um, you're you gain plus eighty five percent more magical power, in um, I mean, eighty five percent of your magical power pool is into your next basic attack. So I'm trying to say, I don't know why I couldn't say that for the life of me. So. In that short duration where your abilities are up and you're chasing somebody or whatever, um, this kind of covers you in that duration where your cooldowns are done. Um, and also, uh, the mana pool helps out. Um, the life still, the life still is pretty good. So you know when you clear a wave of minions with your one or your three or whatnot, you can get that kind of wave of extra um, health. Also, when you're fighting somebody, like if you hit them with your three, not only does it heal you and does damage, you gain extra healing ideally because it does a life steal. Uh, so that's really nice and also a wonderful 75 more magic power. Rod of Olympias. Um, again, this is more of a hyper build. So this grants you the power. Hit. It's really nice. Um, more stuff, more survivability with that HP since um, her HP scaling is kind of low. Uh, plus 10% movement speed. She's like I mentioned before, she's gonna be more fluid in her movements and just quicker in and out uh, with her passive and this item alone. And uh, the aura, the healing and health regeneration of allies is increased by 15%. So your heals do more on top of your heavenly agility and. Um, also, your allies' heals are, are better, and they're HP five. So if you're if you're playing with Shock or uh, Hercules, their HP five is going to be insane. So your team fights would be a little bit more uh, durable, I guess you can say, with um, higher healing and higher um, HP five. Next, Rod Tootie. That needs no explanation. It's just powerful. <laughs> so there we go. I don't know why my frame just dropped to one for a second there. Oh, uh, frame droppage, frame droppage. We can, if we can do this, we can do this, wraps. We can do this, wraps. We can do this, wraps. Come on, man. Um. So, in a small moment, uh, while our frames is, is dropping, uh, we have 1,900 HP. 1700 MP, 531 uh, magical power. It's it's a fair a uh, fair bit amount, um, especially when we stack on our uh, red buff and our two potions, uh, which I hope to get to it. But um, if not, I don't think it's gonna work right now. So this is probably gonna have to wrap it up for this video. Um, if I have spare time, I will go ahead and throw the, the damage I put the actual testing of this build later but for now this is going to have to wrap it up because I, I'm not sure why my frames are dropping hey frames hey okay alright I've that is the weirdest thing ever so yes, let's see some testing real quick before it crashes again sweep 555 five, five, or 559 five, there we go and we have our red buff now so with red buff we gained another 100 magical power so now we're sitting at 631 let's go ahead and try on one again 618 and that yellow damage that did 536 that's your polynomicon as you see that is a lot of damage isn't it so we have our uh, magical might potion 703 662 that's 600 polynomicon hit And then we drink our elixir and do our one. And that just completely wiped them out. Didn't get a chance for Polly. Uh, so with the elixir, we are at 825 power. And for the finale, let's go ahead and melt down uh, raw here. 
Multi. Thousand. I didn't even get to see, I got I got blinded, but yeah, essentially two shotted. So seven seven hundred and thirty-five. And polyenom seven hundred. Basic attacks, uh, 269. So that pretty much wraps it up here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps you guys out. And I'll see you guys later.